Merge Statement In Oracle 9i Release 2, Merge Statement is introduced to select rows from one or more sources for update or insertion into one or more tables. It also has an ability to delete rows, as well as update and insert them. So this statement is called Upsert. This statement is very useful in data warehousing. Have a look at this image to understand the operation of a merge statement. When we are using a merge statement, we must use both an update and insert clause, and the order was fixed. First the update, then the insert. If we want to do one or the other, we must use the existing insert or update statement instead of merge. Deletions are always done separately via the delete statement. Have a look at this syntax for the merge statement. Here, target table can be a table name or updatable query. Source table specifies the source table. As I said earlier, we can give two conditions. So the match condition separates the source into two parts. The first part is those records that match this condition, and the second part is those source records that do not match based on the match condition. We can specify what we want to do with the matched records, when matched, then, and what we want to do with the records that do not match, when not matched, then. Let's see this practically. In order to clearly understand this, we are creating two tables. One will act as a source table, and the other as a target table. So, let's create a source table. Here we have created a table named emp source, with two columns, namely employee number and employee name. Now we have inserted values into the source table. Now we have created a target table named employee target with three columns, namely employee number, employee, and status. Now we have inserted values into this table. We have inserted a total of five rows in the source table and two rows in the target table. To insert the missing row from the source table into the target table, we need the subquery in the insert statement like this. This statement inserts the remaining rows from the source table to the target table. Here we did not use the merge statement. Now we are going to use the merge statement instead of this statement. So see this statement. Here we have used the merge statement for inserting values from the source table to the target table. In this statement we have given the target table and the source table. In the condition, we have checked the employee numbers in both these tables. If the employee numbers are not matched, that row is inserted into the target table like this, and we can perform the update operation using the merge statement. We can use a merge statement to combine insert and update in one. Take a look at this statement. In this statement, we have given the condition to match the rows from source and target table. If the rows do not match, the insert operation is not carried out. Otherwise, the update operation is carried out. Let's execute this query. Now the rows are inserted and updated. I hope this lesson will help you to understand the merge statement. You can practice it by inserting different records and perform the merge statement 